Here on Mark's Aquatics, today we're going to be making some little hides out of some uh, some clay flower pots. We've got three different sizes. Got a higher one there. These are ideal if you uh, if you've got plex and different things like that. They like a little bit of cover. Maybe little synodontist catfish and different things like that, which like to hide away. And uh, you can do all sorts with these. We can be putting on some uh, moss and stuff over the top of them afterwards. You can. Um, Oh, there's loads of stuff. But what, what really I wanted to uh, to show you today is that we're going to drill some holes through these. Now, a lot of people I've seen using different tools to do this. Um, I'll grab one here, for example, with a stone cutting disc grinder like that. Okay, which do work okay, but I find they do rattle quite a lot and um, mostly used really for wood and for you you can use them in stone fair enough you can use them but they do blunt quite quickly unless you buy the really expensive tungsten carbide bits but the best way I've found to cut through these pots or through anything really ceramic wise is these little chaps here this one's a little bit worse for wear I've had him kicking around in the workshop for quite a while now, but um, these are diamond tipped and they're, they're designed for cutting through glass. I've got various sizes of them, right up to a big fella like that when I used to drill my own fish tanks and make sumps and put the weirs into the tanks. So I was used to drilling through 10 to 12 mil plate glass with these to put a big hole through so we could put some big bulk heads in and um, get the pipe work running through back down to the sumps. And um, I've got, like I say, I've got various sizes of these. I've got a little box of them somewhere here. I think they're in the shelf. Here they are. And I've got them right down this little tiny packet here. Right down to some little tiny ones that'll drill a hole. Oops, sorry, I've been out of focus there. We'll drill a hole. It doesn't like focusing. I'll put it there, and it might be a bit better. There you go. You'll get down to a hole that size. Airline size I'm talking about and smaller still. Okay with these. But these are fantastic for drilling through ceramic as well. And they go through them very easily. But what you've got to do is you've got to put water. You've got to add the water while you're doing it. Now for God's sake don't use an electric drill to do this if you're going around water or anything like that. It's got to be a cordless drill. Like my little work zone one here which does the job perfectly okay because you don't want to be mixing electric with water just keep that one in mind now what and with this little one what I thought I would do with the oxidator that we made last time I thought what I'll do is I'm just going to trim off a piece of that around there and we'll have a lower piece of we'll use this lower piece and we'll do the oxidator and we'll put another one in because I've, I've got a spare one up here which I've got so what we'll do is we'll make another one of those and I'll try that with the ceramic bottom just to see what that looks like I think while we're here doing things and cutting things but what I'm going to do now I'm going to first of all I'll tell you what I have got now I'll just pan around a minute I'll just and um, I'll show you this new little tool that I've got it's absolutely fantastic from work zone again you've got a grinding wheel on one side you've got a scotch bright buffing wheel this side and you've also got a whip which comes off so it's basically a Dremel as well, which runs off the end with these little grinding wheels on, which are absolutely fabulous, because I don't know if you remember, when I had the workshop fire, as you can see there, I still haven't done that, but you can see there, that's where that extension lead caught on fire, which nearly, we nearly lost the house in the workshop. It was a very spooky night that was. And, um, but getting back to this, the charger burnt in the fire. So what I've done is I've replaced it now with that. Now we've got three tools in one there. You start it up, you've got a regulator there, which you can have it going faster or slower for this. On off switch there, you've got the guards, eye guards. I haven't put that one on yet. But it's on little suckers at the bottom. And that costs 25 quid. So you've got three tools in one there. It's ideal for anyone who's got a little workshop or hasn't got a workshop. And you just want to put it in a box. And when you need this sort of stuff to make something for yourself, you can have it out. Put it on your kitchen worktop or whatever it is, because it's got the suckers on the feet. It's also got the drill holes as well, so you can fix it more securely if you need to. 
on a bench if you've got a workshop. But this is absolutely fantastic. But what I'm going to do is, I'll just go back round again. And um, as I always do, I always speed things up. Otherwise it's going to be a bit boring for you guys to, to be watching this stuff. But I'm going to put this over here. Now if you want to drill, uh, sorry, if you want to cut something with these, if I put that there and you start it up, you can look. If you've got a workshop, even your even your kitchen table, anything, you can higher and lower it like that, if you can see. You can put your pot there or whatever you want to cut. Start it up, bring it to it, hold it nice and level, and just keep spinning the pot round nice and nice and slow. And it'll make a nice even cut all the way around and you'll get a nice a nice little level bowl then whatever height you want it by lowering and hiring that okay so it's, it's a really efficient way of doing things if you're cutting this sort of stuff though this terracotta don't do it inside because um obvious reasons it's going to be very dusty and you're going to need water to um you can use water you can use a little spray bottle if you like just to spray it to keep it damp to keep that dust down which will help you a lot but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat because I know that you're, uh, you all need to watch and you, you need to know what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the hoover up and put it here, or here, sorry. It's going anti-clockwise, so I'm going to put the, uh, the hoover this side. And so all the dust is going to go straight in the hoover, okay? And we're going to clear that. And I'll go nice and slow just to so, just show you um, how it's done. So we'll get to that now. We'll switch to hyperlapse. We're going to cut this one first, make sure that one works okay, and then we'll go into the kitchen and we'll make some, uh, we'll do some of these ones with the other bigger drill bits and make the big holes. We can do that in the sink and I'll set you up in the kitchen and show you uh, how to do that, okay? Right then, let's go. There you go guys, we cut through it, took a bit of time, bit of patience, bit of sanding, but there you go, we've got a nice little pot now, we've got a little hole in the bottom there, which won't make any difference for our, um, for our little oxidator now to, to fit into, like that. What I've got to do is get the other one from the uh, workshop. This is this isn't actually a this is a proper one. This one, this is uh, this isn't one that we've made. This is the original one from the, com the company made one. But these are the uh, as you knew uh, as you know from the jars that we used before. Those are the jars that we used before. They're just a little bit bigger, but those tops do fit in there just the same. So what I could do is just make another lid for that one now, put that in there, 
and we've got a different a different little oxidator which looks a little bit more like the original I think it looks quite funky like that I think what I'll do is now I'll nip off I'll make another lid and then I'll come back when it's done because you've seen that done before and then uh, I've just actually yesterday as promised I got a gallon of hydrogen peroxide came 6% food grade that came in the post and um, so now I got enough for about 300 years and that was about seven or eight quid for that gallon so uh, it just shows you shop around you can get some good deals and save yourself some money okay um what am i going to do now right i'm going to go and make this lid and i'll get back to you guys okay all right there you go guys we've made another little uh, another little foot there which will then go straight in and fit into our little our little holder there see Just the job. Right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to pop that into the uh, into the shrimp room and then I'll come back, set you up in the kitchen and we'll do some more drilling on these. And I'll show you how easy it is to drill through these with these, um, with these glass cutters. And then we'll shoot off into the shrimp room and I'll show you all the oxidators working, okay? Okay guys, we're all set up in the kitchen. We've got various... Um, size diamond drill bits here we're cutting through the pots we got them right down to tiny little ones like that okay which are like probably around four mil i would say so you can get a four mil hole up to i'd say probably a 10 mil there right up to i'm not sure what that one is oh 80 no sorry it's a 60 mil that's a 60 mil hole that one now when you're drilling these You've got to be uh, a little bit careful. Obviously, these these bits are just diamond tips. They they won't if you know they might give you a little burn if they touch you, but if it's going quickly, so don't worry about you drilling a hole straight through your hand with one of these things because it's not going to happen because they're just because it's hard harder than the terracotta and a bit of force and a bit of water. It's just going to grind its way through very easily. Okay, so we whack it in the drill. lock that in place like that now what we've got to do when we start drilling these I'm going to do this on hyperlapse because I'm going to do, drill quite a few holes and it stops you listening to all that horrible noise but what I'll say is because this is just sorry because that's just round it's going to turn and want to skate around on there okay so what you've got to do if you if you cut that bit in your hand there and you use that smooth bit you just cup it in your hand like that but put one edge in first don't try and go straight in with it flat if you put an edge in first and cut yourself a guide like that and you go very slow you can oh, sorry you can just see it start to make that little score there you see as that gets deeper in it'll start to go around and you'll get your nice neat sorry I was out of frame there yeah once you start going in I'll do it with this it's probably gonna be easier if you go in at that angle resting it like like I said as you go in it's gonna slowly it will slowly go in and the rest of it will follow it okay so you'll get a nice neat round hole but if you try and put it straight on there like that it's going to skate around all over the place you're going to scratch all this up and it's not going to look as nice okay now you can do this in a bucket of water i'm just going to do it in the sink here i'm going to put some water in the sink pop the pot just under the water and keep the drill going nice and slow into the water okay so i'm going to speed it up now with a bit of hyperlapse footage stick a bit of music on and you can watch me drill a few holes okay
There you go guys, we're all back in the workshop now and it's all done and we, we've done a few little different designs here now we've done that one which I just done a last minute one just putting a half moon in there where you cut the just cut the drill bit in obviously when it goes around there you just get the uh, the half moon which is going to be a nice little shrimp pie you could do lots of little holes or whatever you wanted to do all the way around here and you could also be super gluing java fern to that or moss to that to make it look nice we got another one there which we cut the big hole out of there. Bit of a Darth Vader helmet going on there, isn't it? Got a couple of bigger holes at the top there, just a little bit of flow through, so if anything else wants to go in there a bit bigger, that can always pop up. And we put some little holes around the place as well. And then we did the uh, the last one where we just put a hole straight through, equal holes each side. Done our little Marks Aquatics engraving on there which I like to do, my little, uh, put my little trademark on there and um, I think, you know, you could plant that up, you could put all sorts on the top of there drilled a few holes around the top as well it's up to you what you want to do guys this is a very very simple way to cut through flower pots as you saw through the hyperlapse footage it doesn't take long to cut through it in the water and uh, it does quite a nice little neat job too and it doesn't have to be that, you could do reptile ho houses with these little reptile huts for like geckos um, all different sorts, even spiders, little tarantula hides you could make out of this as well I've done those in the past when I used to keep and breed tarantulas uh, and the same with these, some of these are a bit more expensive um, but you can pick them up, I think you get them a lot of these from Japan China, and up, people like, places like that do them, they're quite cheap, you know they're cheap, they'll take a while to get to you but um, they're always handy to have in your little armoury when you want to do little projects like this you can make these for your kids or you can make one with your kids with the engravers as well which is nice and simple because these little bits will not touch you they won't cut you or do anything like that because they're just little diamond stones and it's only because they're harder than the uh, than the clay that they eat their way through it and um, very safe to use yeah you could put all sorts on there mosses I mean you could drill little holes like that you could push java fern roots through there then they'd stick to it you could put a bunch of moss you haven't got to glue the moss to it you could drill a little hole like that get a bunch of moss squeeze it through the hole pull it through a bit and before you know it it'll be growing all over the place and covering that up and looking tidy and it's a brilliant little place for your little mates to go and hide I always put some lower holes in because of flow you know you can imagine the flow coming through there it's you're not going to get up with stagnant areas in there so uh, it's going to keep your water parameters a lot better and a lot cleaner as well anyway guys like I said before if you're going to use um, if you're going to be drilling and doing anything near water please please be careful no electric power tools like corded drills that plug into the mains only ever use a cordless a cordless drill like that 
because that's not going to do you any harm at all if that goes in the water okay just promise me you'll never use power tools near water that's a silly thing to do if you're a younger viewer and you're watching this uh, in watching this video right i think what we'll do now is we'll shoot off into the uh, shrimp room and we'll see how that little oxidator is working and all the other ones that we put that we made the other week there you go guys we're all in the tank the little shrimps are interested in it i think that looks quite funky that with that little terracotta base to it you can see the oxygen coming up and coming out as that slowly builds up pressure in that little bubble at the top there it's pushing that hydrogen peroxide out which is then turning to oxygen and those little oxygen bubbles you can see there rising up and coming out at a very very slow rate and you'll find as your tank saturates with oxygen from these little oxygenators you will lose you'll sorry you'll uh, use less and less fluid you find when you first put it in it tends to go down quite quickly but um, though for a couple of sort of a week or so you'll find it uh, it slows down a bit that's working away beautiful that is look at that and it's nice because you made it yourself and when you look in the tank you can say oh, I made that right let's go and have a look at the other one the other side shall we There you go guys, there's the other one we made with the uh, spice jar base to it, working away lovely. Now what I have found out with doing this, with just the glass base, it wasn't turning to oxygen as well as it was, as it, it does now, when I put some of the substrate from around, from on the floor, just sprinkled some around it inside. Now it's working a lot better. You can see the original right next to it there and the way that's producing the oxygen and it's near enough identical now. They really are working well. And I think what it is, it's the terracotta base. Because it's organic, it actually reacts with the um it reacts with the uh, with the with the ground and it actually turns it and it turns it to oxygen a little bit better than it would do just with the glass. There's a big old purge of bubbles come out there. But it's normally very, very slow like that. The other ones do the same. They do release big pockets of oxygen at the same time. There you go, both working well. Yeah, both working really well. Happy with those. Go and make yourself one of those guys. Like I said before, it doesn't have to be one of those jars. It can be anything, as long as you get a lid to fit in there. You can make some out of a flower pot now. And like I've just discovered, the terracotta bases work better than the glass bases. You can use it, but just sprinkle a little bit of your media around inside it, and it tends to uh, turn it to oxygen a lot quicker. It just gives it that little reaction. That shrimp hide needs a, a bit of a trim. You can see those little oxygen bubbles coming out. Working really well. Hello Mr. Shrimps. Everyone's happy. That's how we like it. Okay. Anyway guys, I hope you like that little flower pot video and the oxidator one. As always, you're all stars. Love your loads. Be careful, be safe. And I'll see you on the next episode of Marks Aquatics. Okay, bye for now. Just me and my guitar